Well, not only me, but he takes care of my family. Amen. And, uh, you know, the Bible says that uh, the man sanctified through the woman and the woman sanctified through the man. Uh -huh. And I pray every day for my wife and, uh, and my children. But uh, Mindy got a job at, uh, at uh, Burger King. And it, it, it ain't much, but... When 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 Mindy works, Mindy pays for all of her own stuff, and so it takes a big load off of me, um, just little stuff here and there, and and, and stuff, and and so I was I was really happy about that. And she called me today because I stayed around town today. She called me and she said that uh, I'm not going to get that job. And I said, well, what happened? And she said I took a test. Uh, uh, She'd fill out the application. She was on her second interview. It went fine, and they said, just come in and start work on Sunday. And uh, she went in, she took a test, and it was a uh, honesty test. And uh, apparently she was too honest. <laughs> and I thought, what in the world? And the guy told her when she took the test, and, and they, they ran it through the computer, and, and she didn't pass it. And uh, one of the questions on there was, uh, uh, Mindy's been in... Uh, in the uh, restaurant business, uh, uh, Taco Bell for years and here and there in the restaurants and stuff. And so she's a lot of times been up in the management area. Most times. Most times. Yeah. And, and she, uh, she was honest on that test. And it's, one of the questions was, if a friend comes in and wants a Coke, would you give him a Coke? And of course she said no, because the management goes by the book. The people that work there sometimes don't go by the book. <laughs> And that was just one of them, and that's what made her flunk. And so well, she called wow. me, and she said, you know, what should I do about it? They've offered me, the guy that did, that did this said, um, you, you know, you just, you just need to not be so honest. <laughs> and, uh, and he kind of coached her and told her what, what was messed up there. And, you know, you can come back next Thursday, and we'll do this again. And, uh, of course, she don't know what to do. And, and that's the way the world, uh, in perilous times, that's what the world's coming to. It's... You know, it's sad. It's it's real sad. And 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 Mindy's not. Uh, Mindy don't profess to be a Christian. She's sharp, but this, she so. she ain't no dummy. And 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 there's certain things that she holds to as uh, that we've learned as kids: not be a liar or don't steal or things that stick with us and stuff. And so when she called me, it kind of broke my heart because both. Uh, one thing, I need my wife to get a job. <laughs> <laughs> but that ain't the main thing. I mean, God's going to take care of me. But, but uh, she was excited about being able to get away from her, our grandkids and living with us, and it's kind of driving her crazy. Yeah. So she wants a job so she can get away a little bit, and she wants her own money and stuff. And and so uh, pray about that for her. Um, I know it sounds really strange, and of course the first thing I said, well, you're full of it. They don't do that kind of stuff. But she's not a liar. She's not a big liar, and and I think that that's going on. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm proud of her for saying... You know, I'm not going to. I'm not going to lie. I'll just do what I can do, and and I, you know, God may not want her there and that right. any reason, but pray about that and pray that something will happen. This world's, this the United States is really getting different, and it's scary. It's scary, you know. And we just got to hold to God. That's right. Yeah. That's right.